when the Buddha taught Rahula meditation. He started out with an analysis of the body into its elements. The hard parts are earth element, the, part, the warm parts are fire element, the cool parts are liquid element, the energy is breath element, and then there's space. And then he told Rahula to meditate, make your mind like each of those elements. In the case of the first four, it had to do with the fact that when you throw dirty things on the earth, or you have use water to wash away dirty things, or you use fire to burn away dirty things, or the wind blows dirty things around, they don't get upset. They don't get disturbed. As for space, he says if people try to write words in space, there's no place for the words to hang on to, so the words just disappear. Try to make your mind like that. People's words, think of them being written on space. You're going to make your mind like this. Okay, then you're ready to meditate. Then you're ready to develop good qualities in the mind. It's not that you try to get non-reactive and just stay non-reactive, but that's the foundation on which you start doing the work that needs to be done inside. Knowing that as you uncover things in your own mind, you're going to see things you don't like. But if you don't let yourself see them, how are you going to deal with them? So you have to have a mind that's not blown away, either by other people's words or by your own words, your own defilements. Because then when you can watch them, that's when you can really see them. And when you can really see them, then you can understand them. And that's when you can let go of them. So make your mind like earth. How many times have people thrown dirty things on the earth? We've lost count. It's happening every day, every day, and it's been happening for who knows how long. The earth doesn't get reactive. It shudders every now and then, but it doesn't shudder because of the dirt. You want to make your mind more solid even than the earth. And as for space, again, think of people's words being written in the space. You know what the, you can see them going through the actions of writing the words, but you don't leave them in your mind. Or Venerable Sariputta's image, a sound makes contact at the ear. Just tell yourself, okay, an unpleasant sound has made contact at the ear, and just leave it there. And when you leave it there, there's nothing, more, nothing for it to hang on to, so it falls out of your ears. Our problem is we pull these things inside. And as we pull them inside, where are you going to keep them? They're going to start coming out in your actions. So let them go, let them go. That way you can focus on the work that really needs to be done inside. Because after all, we live in an imperfect world, and yet we're trying to develop the perfections inside. If we get worked up about outside imperfections, then we're in trouble. The Buddha talked about being content with things outside. If things are good enough for you to practice, you, you are content with them. But don't be content with the skillful qualities in your mind. If there's work that, to be done, just keep on doing it, doing it. That's how we can get beyond all of this suffering that everybody throws around at everybody else, and that we throw around at ourselves inside.